Okay, so I had a question if I can do a what's in my dock video, basically going over some of the software that I use on a regular basis. Uh, but I am using GNOME Shell, so I guess it's like what what am I what's in my overview video, I guess, or whatever. Uh, I am using the proprietary NVIDIA driver, so I don't know if you can notice this or not. It's like a a real nasty blue like a fragmentation kind of thing going on, right? <clears throat> so what I did was I recorded myself using the default uh, built-in screen recorder that GNOME Shell has. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, play back the video and just talk over it, I guess. Here we go. All right, so let me just go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. So here's like some of the software I have installed, right? I have a lot installed, of course. Um, I do test out a lot of stuff through PPAs and whatever. Uh, right here, what I'm pointing at is a piece of software called Dupe uh, Guru, which is basically a, a duplication uh, a finder, right? Well, duplicate file finder. Uh, let me start it up. So if you have a, a lot of music and you want to find duplicates, um, it'll scan your music directory and it'll look for like bit rate and whatever, find all the duplicates, and um, you have the option of uh, copying, moving, or deleting <coughs> the files. Uh, you do have to pay for it. When you do buy it, it comes with uh, uh, a software suite. So it's like, it's not just for music alone, it's for like, uh, I think, uh, like text files, your 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 document directory, or whatever, or a full hardware hard drive uh, uh, scan. Um, it's twenty bucks. If it makes its way to the software center, I'm definitely gonna buy it. But you can try it out if you want. So if you try it out, it'll just uh, it'll scan the whole directory, but you can only move or remove um, ten files at a time. Anyways, and the rest of the stuff in here is is your default stuff, basically. Uh, you know your um, you know calculator and and uh, terminal or whatever. Uh, gra um, not graphics, games. <clears throat> I do have a lot of Humble Indie Bundle games installed. Uh, what I'm gonna do with this is, uh, I'm gonna go on YouTube, find all these games, and put links in the description down below so you can see all the games, you know what I mean? Um, if you do choose to purchase a lot of these games, um, you're better off using a dedicated graphics card like ATI or NVIDIA with the proprietary drivers. Um, some of these games work okay with uh, open source drivers and some won't work at all. Uh, Edge, right? That works great with uh, proprietary drivers, open source drivers, uh, integrated Intel, uh, and so does Tukitori. <clears throat> That's another thing. If you're running a, an, an Intel machine, Intel GPU, uh, integrated graphics, uh, you're probably not gonna have a good experience with these, uh, with these games. But anyways, uh, Wacade is a front end for MAME. If you're building like a, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, an arcade cabinet <clears throat> and you need a, a way to navigate through the to the menus using your joysticks and buttons I guess that's one way of doing it with blockade I have a video on that as well I'll put it put that in the description down below let me just start it real quick see just there's all my main ROMs you know just use your keyboard or your joystick or whatever to navigate anyways all right and of course, you know, emulators, uh, SNES and, and uh, Dolphin, which is a, uh, a Wii and GameCube emulator. All right, graphics. I have GIMP, of course. I've been using GIMP for four years now, I think. Uh, Inkscape is awesome. Uh, I do know how to use Inkscape, but I'm not like as skilled as I am with GIMP, I guess. Um, uh, if, you're, if, if you're into uh, SVG, vector graphics, whatever, uh, Inkscape is where to go. My Paint's cool. Um, if you have a graphics tablet like Wacom or whatever, um, My Paint has excellent brush dynamics with um, with uh, like pencils or brushes or uh, chalk, or whatever. It, it does a very good realistic job of uh, emulating those uh, those uh, brushes, I guess, or whatever. Um, this wireframe thing, I just downloaded it. I'm not really too sure what it's all about just yet. I'll give it a try later on today. All right, <clears throat> right here, Chromium is my uh, default uh, web browser. Of course, I do keep Firefox around because of um, of a service. There's a there's a service out there called Cocoon, right? It's kind of like Tor. <clears throat> it only works for Firefox or Internet Explorer or whatever. Uh, it, it just allows you to be like a, kind of a anonymous on the web. I've been giving it. A, I've been trying it out for a couple months now. It seems to be working. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that down below. Google Earth is uh you know google earth you know um the globe you know what i mean 
I don't use it too much. I just like having it around just to mess around with it, I guess. <laughs> Skype, I need to get rid of. It doesn't work very well for me. So I've been trying out this Jitsi, and it does seem to be working fine. Uh, it's, it's like a Skype alternative, you know what I mean? Uh, mail nag is for um, incoming mail. So when you get a new email, it, it plays a little sound, letting you know there's a, a new email for you. Uh, this Cloud Player is basically for cloud services like Google Play or GrooveShark, it's just a desktop client. Opera <clears throat> is another web browser. Uh, I was a long time Opera user. Um, I used to live out in the countryside, so all we had out there was a uh, dial up. So Opera has this cool little feature called Turbo Mode. So, um, you know, like all the JPEG images, it would like downgrade the quality and it'll block all the flash so that, you know, your internet experience will be a little bit faster, you know, through dial up, I guess. And uh, Postler is a email client. Uh, it's not as full featured as uh, Evolution or, or um, Thunderbird, but it does a job for me, and that's all I want it for, just for my email. And this stuff, which is Torrent Search, I have a, a video on that already. Basically, just search, you know, Torrent files. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. <clears throat> Office. Uh, I don't use uh, LibreOffice or whatever. I, I prefer, you know, Abbey Word or Genomeric. Um, I get by just fine on it. Not, not. I'm not saying that LibreOffice is bad or anything. Just, you know, I just don't really need all those features. So here's your spreadsheet. As you can see, they're real snappy. They're quick too. That's what I like about it too. So there's Genomeric for spreadsheets and uh, Abbey Word for documents. All right. And this stuff right here, I've, I've just been messing around with. I haven't really used it too much. Um, K Organizer and Nitro are like just organizers. Just open that up. There we go. Pretty much the same thing, just, you know, this one's real simple. This one's like kind of like more featured. Just, you know, organize your day, you know what I mean? Like uh, appointments or whatever. Let me skip ahead to, I think, sound and video. <clears throat> oh, not sound and video, other. All right, you know, your basic default stuff, but <clears throat> one thing I do have installed is Borg, this Borg customizer. Um, by default, you have Grub, right? So when you install your, your system, you have Grub as your bootloader. So if, you have, if you're if you dual-booting, it's, it's the menu that you see for uh, selecting your kernels or your Windows environment. <clears throat> but I have Borg instead. Let me show what I mean. All right. Huh. Play. There it goes. So here's my um, computer booting. That was my BIOS screen. And here's Borg. So the middle Ubuntu logo is my recovery. The one on the right is Windows. And the one on the left is my Ubuntu. And there's the... Uh, Plymouth uh, splash screen, a little tux. So that's Borg. I'll, put a, I'll make a video about that later on, how to install it and configure it. Um, when precise, you know, go stable, I'll, I'll do that. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to sound and video. <clears throat> Ace Tone ISO is basically for mounting ISO files or converting ISOs. Artistra is like a, uh, what's it called? It's like a video format converter, you know, for devices, you know, like if you have an Android or an iPhone. Uh, same thing with Handbrake. It's based, Handbrake's more known for uh, ripping DVDs, but you can also convert to, you know, different formats as well. Uh, Minitube is a desktop YouTube client, and so is G Media Finder. Have, um, MK Merge is, uh, I have a video on this as well, you know, for merging uh, video files. Damvid is a uh, YouTube downloader and converter. This right here, Imagination, I think it's called, is basically a slideshow maker. Uh, Tomahawk is a really cool, full-featured uh, uh, music player. I'll, I'll make a video on that later. And Xnoise is, is uh, a lightweight music and media player. Um, I have a uh, older laptop, and I'm running this on it, and it runs perfectly fine. And System Tools, Bleach Bit is like a, it's like CCleaner. Right, it'll it'll remove, it'll delete all your internet cache, your config files, your um, 
oh, what's it called? All the dem files you download into your root directory, <clears throat> they'll get rid of all that stuff too. So it, it's really cool. I like the program. It, it does a good job at cleaning and finding out a lot of junk you don't need. And of course, default stuff. Um, uh, Ubuntu Tweak is really it's a good program. If you don't know what it is, let me just start it up real quick. All right. So Ubuntu Tweak is basically to tweak your system a little bit, um, like your theme or, or miscellaneous stuff, your login settings. Um, what else? Your desktop icons. If you want, like you know, like your home folder, your computer uh, icon to be visible on the desktop. Um, the janitor is a really cool program. Um, well, my program, but a feature on it. It's kind of like the the bleach bit I was just showing you. You can delete config files, old kernels, stuff like that to free up some space in your root directory. And what else? And wine. I have some programs installed, not too many. Uh, a lot of stuff I can just remove. Photoshop, I have it installed, but I don't use it. Halo, I gave it a try, but it doesn't work very well. So I, I pretty much need to just get rid of this stuff. And that's it, really. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll put a whole bunch of links in the description down below to all the software I just mentioned. But anyways, um, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.